Hello guys, welcome back to this course to learn Flutter application development. In the previous video, we have created all these variables as you can see on the screen. And now in this video, we are going to design our uploading screen. So for that, let's remove this color for now. And instead of this container, let's return scaffold. Inside the scaffold, we have one app bar. Let's give app bar. App bar. Inside this app bar, we have to pass one text. So title, text. Now, inside this text, guys, what we have to pass? Come here above. As you see here, we have this uh, Two variables here one for uploading one for next so uploading by default equals to false and next also by default is false so we are going to make it true by given some condition so here let's write next if next equals to is, is true so we are saying please write product info else we will say please select images comma let's give some style the style text style font size font size will be 16 and letter spacing will be 2 and like this so if next is true so we are showing this text here please write information about product or else if a user did not select images so we will say please select images then after this text here we will pass action inside this action we will say if next equals to true if next is true we are saying return container empty here else return elevated button and here inside this on press make it like this like this and open brackets So what we are saying here on press if underscore image sorry here if like this if underscore image dot length equals to 5 so we are making next equals to true and uploading also true so what we are doing here if a user selected 5 images so we are making this next true and uploading also will be true or else we will show a toast show toast sorry remove these two curly braces and inside this here we will say please select images comma and here duration duration will be 3 and gravity will be tall first of all what we have to do we have to add dependency for this toast message it's showing error so for that come to the Google go to the google and here write pubdev and first one this dot packages after that write here toast enter 
now click on this first one toast and then installing copy the dependency come back to the android studio copy spec yaml file and after this google fonts paste it here and click on pubget close it close this file and now here write gravity first of all let's import this come above here and import this toast which we have added so import toast this one toast dot 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 this one toast dot dot and come here and now gravity will be toast toast dot center now we have this error to remove this error we have to create this function come here and after this right here void show toast and inside here and what we have to do like this inside here we have to write a string message comma again curly brackets required int duration comma required int gravity and inside this here toast toast dot show and context comma duration will be duration gravity will be gravity and semicolon at the end now you will see our error will have gone you can see now here put a semicolon and error has gone now after this here inside this child we have to give text child text and here we will write upload comma and comma upload and cut from here cut this from here so we remove this like this here plus enter here copy this only this not that this is the elevator closing copy only this piece of code cut it and come above and here put here above finish the text child will be uploaded and this image if the image length will be equal to 5 so we are going to make it true uploading else we will show this dialog box uh, or toast message please select image if user did not select any images we will show this uh, toast message here so after this let's control alt l after this app bar here let's return container not container right here let's say it uh, body because we need body in this refer so body uh, will be next if next is true we are single we are returning single scroll child view and here if this variable is true so we are uh, returning this is single child scroll is for uh, this visit for scrolling the screen so here child container and open brackets and then child padding padding const edge inset 
edge is a dot all will be 25 and then after that inside this we have child column inside this column we have main axis dot size main x dot size min dot min and then children visits now inside this we will add text field so that user can fill information about products so here we will return text field inside this decoration input decoration open hint text hint text will be hint text hint text will be please enter your name and after this after the text field let's create one size box so that there will be space between this text field so size box height will be 8 comma and here on change will be value and give here this dot username and these are the variables which we have created above it will be value this value now we have created one text field so just copy paste this two three five times we how much variable we have so copy this and after this size box paste it here and change here enter your phone and here user phone these are the variable and guys these variables here as you see here these variable all these come above here and after this just copy one more time and paste after this here and right here product cost and here item cost one more time paste it here after this and here will be products model and right here item model and after this one more time we need more to text field color so product color and here will be item color also item color one more time for description so right here description and here guys finally write description dot this dot description so now we have created and here this, instead of this 8 give it 12 so here we will add after this one container and width will be media query dot of context dot size dot width multiply with by 0 0.5 and then child will be elevated button inside this remove these all two brackets like this so inside this on press on press and then child text text will be upload and on press will be we will show dialog box here so dialog and builder remove this builder here 
put two round brackets, right here con brackets, two brackets and semicolon at the end and here return loading alert loading alert box dialogs and message will be please wait uploading like this put put semicolon here and remove like this so guys we did all these things here so first of all let me tell you what we did here we have this variable here uploading and next by default it is false and we are making it true by uploading images so if uh, this is not uh, true so we are saying please write information and please select images and after this we have given action here in the app bar if next is equal to true so we are defining this empty container and after that else we are showing this upload button and inside this upload button we are giving this condition if image equals to equal to five uh, five length i mean five pieces of image so we are making this next true or oh, and uploading also true else we will show this display please select five images if user did not select images so we will display this toast message here then after that we have body of our screen inside this body we have passing this if this next is true so return single scroll view child and this widget is for to scrolling like long content so you can scroll the screen up and you can see inside this we have given this container and we have given some padding for the space around and then we have inside this padding column widget inside this column widget we have given this text field and all these variable we have passed here on change then we have given this in text enter your name enter your phone all these text field in the next video we will work on here after this tag we will use this tag widget and we will working on this video in the next video thank you bye bye for watching for this video